Hello everyone, this is the first video to the tutorial series for Python. So we'll be starting with print statements and variables today. So let's start with print. What exactly is print? To understand print, it is basically the basic system architecture. I can just draw a basic diagram for you to show how print works, right? So just consider this. This is your CPU, right? So if you understand in the basic grades, we learned that the CPU, it does two basic processes. It takes in an input and returns an output. Similarly, in Python, if you want to take an input, you would use the command input. And then if you want to give an output, you would use the command print. So how does this exactly work? So if you want to tell the user, hello, if the program is started, you would run a print statement. If you want to say, please enter your password, you would run the command input, right? So this is the basic understanding of print and input. Now let's understand what exactly is a variable. To understand a variable, you can consider a variable as a box, right? Let's consider it as a box. And then let's just call the box. Let's just consider that there's a label on the box saying that this is, you know, this is Emma's chocolates or this is Ali's chocolates. So we'll just make a label saying that this is, we'll just say that it's anything, right? It's just a variable name we'll just call it anything it can have any possible name and then now we'll what we will do is we'll put something inside of the box let's just put some chocolates inside of the box so now just consider that Ahmed has put one chocolate inside of a box and now he's called this chocolate one as of course this is the only chocolate so we'll call it one right so whenever someone asks you what a variable is you should always get this image in your brain right a variable is something of a box with something inside of it, right? An object inside of it, or it carries a value with it, right? You can call anything, you can call it anything, you can call a variable a box, you can call it anything, you can call it any possible value. Let's let's just see how we will write this into code now. Let's get it in the code editor. So seeing the diagram, we know that we need to assign a label. So of course you need to assign the label first. So we'll say anything. And just a basic guess would tell you to assign something. You definitely have to tell equal. So we'll put equal and then we'll put the value inside of the box, which is one, right? So this is the basic understanding. And then right here, if you're following with me, you would have written your first line of code, which is a simple variable. So now that we know what a variable is and we've also assigned it, let's make like a quick fun app. So first of all, we also learned how to print. So we'll just print the app has started right and then we'll take an input from the user asking him to input a password please enter a password right now we've done this this is the simple understanding that you print that the app has started and then you tell it the user to enter a password now the problem occurs that you want to ask the user to only upload a string value now what is a string value you know, the one smart out of you would have understood why did I actually put speech marks over here while when I was assigning a variable like anything equals to one, I didn't put any speech marks here. The reason for this is that this is a variable assignment with only an integer value. For this, we would be using int while while for something like a string, it would be something alphanumeric. It could have, you know, some special characters. It could have some alphabets. It could have some numerical values. It could have anything inside of it. So let's just call it a super string, right? Let's call it a super string. And then we can call it a string even if we want. So this restricts that there should only be a string value inside of this. So if you put one and execute the code, it would show you an error because one is not a string. It's a numerical value. It needs to be put inside of int. Although it's not required by default, so you don't really need to put it when you're assigning a variable, right? So I could just put a value and then for all string values, you need to have speech marks. So I could put a value inside of it and call it anything one, two, three, and then some special characters inside of it. So this is a string. Now we also know a basic understanding of data types 
we also know two data types we know print input we've understood how a cpu works to take an input and generate an output we've understood how a variable work and we've understood the super string theory and we've also understood integers strs and then in the next video we'll be learning some advanced data types like boolean and then float and then we'll look into some advanced ones